A Mortable Lifetime Story Jawaharlal Nehru was born on November 14, 1889, in Allahabad, India. He was the son of Motilal Nehru, a prominent lawyer and a leader of the Indian National Congress. Nehru grew up in a wealthy and politically active family, and he received his education at the prestigious Harrow School and later at Cambridge University in England. After completing his education, Nehru returned to India in 1912 and became involved in the Indian independence movement. He quickly rose to prominence within the Indian National Congress and was elected president of the party in 1929. Nehru was a strong proponent of Indian independence and worked closely with Mahatma Gandhi in the fight against British rule. Nehru was imprisoned several times for his political activities, including during the Quit India movement in 1942. However, he continued to work tirelessly for Indian independence and was a key figure in negotiations with the British government that led to the creation of an independent India in 1947. Following India's independence, Nehru became the country's first Prime Minister. He was tasked with the difficult job of uniting a diverse and often divided nation and establishing a functioning government. Nehru's vision for India was one of secularism, democracy, and socialism. He worked to modernize India's economy and infrastructure, and he championed the rights of women and the poor. Nehru was also a leading figure in international politics. He played a key role in the establishment of the Non-Aligned Movement, a group of countries that refused to align with either the United States or the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Nehru believed that India should maintain its independence and autonomy and should not be forced to choose between the two superpowers. Nehru was a prolific writer and thinker. He wrote several books, including, The Discovery of India, which explores India's history and culture. Nehru was deeply committed to education and believed that every Indian child should have access to quality education. He worked to establish a strong educational system in India and was instrumental in the creation of the Indian Institutes of Technology and the Indian Institutes of Management. Nehru died on May 27, 1964, and his passing was mourned by people across India and around the world. He is remembered as one of India's greatest leaders and a champion of democracy, secularism, and social justice. His legacy lives on in the modern Indian state and in the hearts and minds of millions of Indians who continue to be inspired by his vision and his example. Thanks for watching.